Get ready to try the world's shortest IQ test. It has only three questions. True intelligence has more to do with perspective, observation, and intuition than it has to do with classroom test scores. Over the past century, scientists have developed ways to test individuals' intelligence using IQ tests. IQ tests have even become a prerequisite for recruiting candidates for significant roles in top-grade institutions and establishments. Recently, this new IQ test is being widely adopted by companies worldwide and also happens to be the shortest one. The test contains only three questions and is called the Cognitive Reflection Test, or CRT. Now, prepare yourself to concentrate on the questions, as the time to reflect is limited to 30 seconds per question. So, pay attention, and here goes. Question number one. A bat and a ball cost $1.10 in total. The bat costs $1 more than the ball. So how much does the ball cost? Question number two. If it takes five machines five minutes to make five widgets, how long would it take 100 machines to make 100 widgets? Question number three. In a lake, there is a patch of lily pads. Every day, the patch doubles in size. If it takes 48 days for the patch to cover the entire lake, how long would it take for the patch to cover half of the lake? Okay, so are you ready to find out if you got the questions right? The correct answers are five cents, five minutes, and 47 days, respectively. The explanations for these answers are stunningly quite simple. For the first question, an impulsive response might be 10 cents, as the quiz taker might simply subtract 10 cents from $1.10 to obtain $1. But this is not correct. The question mentions that the bat is $1 more than the ball, so if the ball was 10 cans, the bat would be $1.10, making the towel $1.20. So that means the ball is 5 cents and the bat is $1.05. The second question is a bit trickier. Since five machines take five minutes to build five widgets, the impulse answer might be that 100 machines can build 100 widgets in 100 minutes, or maybe even one minute but those answers would be incorrect. The correct answer is, if five machines take five minutes to build five widgets, it means that one machine builds one widget every five minutes. So, if there are 100 machines at work, they will build 100 widgets in five minutes. Therefore, the correct answer is five minutes. The third question, some believe, is the most complex of them all. If a patch of lily pads doubles in size every day, and it takes 48 days to cover the entire lake, the correct answer would be 47 days. If you consider that the lily pad doubles every day as days move forward, you could also say it cuts in half every day going backwards from the top. So for a full lake at 48 days, if you divide the lily pad in half for the previous day, you realize that the lake was half full the previous day on day 47. It took 48 days minus one, that is 47 days to cover half the lake. 
Researchers who created this test mainly evaluated participants' performance based on two factors, time preference and risk preference. The CRT test was first carried out on 3,428 people. In that first study, they used undergraduates at various universities who were paid $8 to complete the test. Researchers classify the psychology behind people's responses into two categories, System 1 and System 2. In the System 1 process, the individual answered spontaneously without paying much attention, whereas in the System 2 process, people utilized their mental operations requiring effort, motivation, concentration, and the execution of learned roles. In most of these questions, the impulsive System 1 people answered incorrectly, usually with 10 cents for the first question, 100 minutes for the second question, or 24 days for the third question. Adding to the explanation behind people's responses to the three-item CRT, scientists noted that people with high cognitive abilities usually live longer, earn more, have larger working memories, have faster reaction times, and are less susceptible to visual illusions. But till now, not many attempts have been made to determine this ability in people. CRT and other IQ tests lead the way. Someone's IQ's influence on judgment and decision-making is undeniable. So how did you do? Did you end up falling for the trap or did you see right through it? Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and have a great day.